I invite everyone to uh, get excited. <laughs> it's time to have some passion. It's time to light the candle of truth. Oh, I'm spilling, spilling wax. That's not good. The candle of love. The candle of hope. Let it burn within us. And know that it's time that we let the Lord stir up our love within us. For the truest truth is this, beloved, that without love, any one of our hearts becomes a parched and it becomes cracked like the bottom of a dry well. And our words become as empty as a hollow gourd without meaning. But loving words are as a honeycomb sweet unto our souls. And words of such adoration in anyone's mouth are like the deepest waters and the wellspring of love as a flowing brook. And it's time to realize that this is the truest truth. And uh, so it's time in these days of Elijah, uh, it's time for the finish of the age. Christ Jesus has cut these days short by his word coming anew. Him saying, I will be your God, you will be my people, I will forgive your iniquity, I will never remember it. I write my law and my love upon your hearts. Beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught of me, says the Lord God, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. And uh, these are the days when uh, we have to stop and realize that how can a carpenter build in the midst of a world when it's time to raise up the, the kingdom age, but if a whirlwind of ignorance is before all men and no man has hands to receive anything from the Lord, uh, the whirlwind would have its way. And in these days, instead of an ocean of God's love being poured out, uh, an ocean of oblivion will come to us. And what would happen is there would be no more fish left alive in that ocean, Zephaniah 1, 1 says. There will be no fish, no man, no birds, uh, total oblivion. Jesus said that unless these days were cut short anew by his word coming forth, no flesh could be saved. Only God's word could cut the time short. So praise God. These are the day, days that are conditional. Uh, uh, the curse of Malachi 4, 6, unless the hearts of the fathers turn to the children, children to the fathers by that covenant, by that word of God, which is his word that he wrote by his spirit, unless that turns everybody's heart to everybody, because we realize that we've always been angels in the flesh. Angels are we. That's why Jesus said we are gods. Then the seed of violence could only reap uh, harvest and desolation in unloving hearts that will not uh, be moved by God's promises of yea and amen. And they will be like parched clay where no living thing could grow healthily. So the wheat and the tares uh, cannot grow together. So it's time that we preserve the flesh so that we can become partakers of the spirit. And the flesh must be contended with. Uh, the evil must be entreated. And its unbridled lust should not be yielded to. But if we do go steps, two steps forward, one step back, we're still going in the right direction. Praise God. And so we know that we must all be made to grow uh, through faith and knowledge. And these are the days where the Lord is, is revealing his secrets. Uh, the mystery of God of Revelation 10, 7 is over. So know that behold, behold it is utter truth that the law of the light of love condemns the darkness of all unloving ways of all ignorance. Ignorance is hatefulness, and hatefulness is ignorance, and there is no darker darkness than ignorance of love alone. And so know that uh, if we are embrace love, karma is going to get you when you don't watch out the, the law of sowing and reaping. Love un, unloving ways, and that is what you will reap. So it's time that we don't let our inner darkness uh, smite all sickness, all health, and every oppressor of, of, of men unless we turn it around uh, because we're smiting ourselves by our own bad attitudes. 
And for God so loved the world that he has offered his brightest light of love uh, to smite all pride, all scorn, all slanders, uh, bringing discords of utter greed to get rid of that in this world. For his light is truth, and it's the truth of love freed. And God says he is love who shall smite the very worst evil. And he has already banished Satan in accordance with Daniel 12, 1, for 1,000 years because his kingdom age covenant has been given. But Satan was the accuser of the brethren day and night, reminding the Lord of our sin, accusing us. But God has said, I will forgive your iniquity and never remember it. Right there, Satan had to be removed. He would have made God into a liar, which is common sense. So it's time that the Lord wants to banish ignorance of love for he is the sower of the seed of love who is arising with healing under his wings. So uh, until all people, the Lord says, buffet not the poor in the presence of the rich. For scourge, uh, for a scourge grievous enough for them is their own poverty. It's time to, to love people where they're at and help people out. Uh, charity in this world has to grow immensely. There's people going hungry every day. This trial of all flesh, COVID, Revelation 3 has come bringing God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change. Praise the Lord by his love anew in motion to get us to be like little children, to start faking it till we make it, to start smiling at people. Kindness is the language that the dumb can understand. So know that it's hurtful to all of us if we will not share our love to those that are in need. So look unto the judgment of our righteous rewards to come and know that evermore will be we rewarded abundantly for being loving people. And unto all of those, uh, it's time to seek out those who are hungry and feed them. Uh, it's the man in the mirror. We have to start there. And if we won't start there, then we are just fooling ourselves and our uh, religion is empty. So I say peace, and peace from peace, love from love, joy from our living joy, and grace from grace. That is who our Lord God is. He is faith. That is his name. And he is the blessed, the beloved, and the adored. He is our majesty of majesties, our hero of heroes, arising on his great white cloud with his everlasting gospel, coming forth, saying unto the world that we must beat our sword into the sickle of his love for he is revealing that he is the sower of the seed of love who's overtaken his uh, reaper so praise god that the world will be changed and uh, it's time that the lord wants to turn everything around and if we will not uh we're going to be in trouble so uh, it's time that all people of love will get with his program so know this before i close the very air in our lungs, the very air that we breathe was born of the breath of God and his own breath, it blows in the highest heights of the heavens and it flows over the highest tops of the mountains and his breath whispers to the leaves of the forest. It billows over the cornfield, it slumbers in the deep, uh, in the deep valleys and it burns, it blows and burns in the hottest of deserts. And so it's time that we realize that uh, as for all of us, uh, we have to see, we have to visualize and see ourselves in the water or in the glass in order to see the Lord in us because his reflection is for us if we will be a mirror to his glory because he is also a lamp unto all those beholding him and he's a mirror unto all those who can perceive his glory and he's a door unto those who knock and he's the, the blessed way for even the wayward so it's time that we rev up his glory of his love to the nations because kingdom age had to start naturally and naturally shall it increase